feels good. <laughs> oh, second guy coming in. That's a dad bod. This is a bass drum. <laughs> hey, 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 Brandon. Hey, Kyle. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, wishing I was bigger so I could start a band. Uh, hey, if you're here, I'm here. Wait, wait, let's pause this. this is, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. That at least slapping music. I, I am here. So, uh, this is yet another episode of Tech Talks. Tech Talks. Hey, it's episode 16. We have a special guest yes. today, straight out of the journey. <laughs> Uh, we've got. Uh, please introduce yourself and who you are and age, sex, location. Oh Jesus! I'm I'm Eric. I'm Brandon's neighbor, I guess. I also teach math. Yes. And I am not on a journey. I have arrived. <laughs> Eric, thanks for being with us. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Hey. So, what are we doing? Yeah. What are oh, we no, doing? Oh no! Wait. Last time. Okay. Let's talk about last episode. Last episode, we did some pretty groovy things with Google Forms. Yes. And we produced these. This kind of ridiculous, or from Google Forms, complicated Google Forms, or in general, we said we could deal with complicated data. Right. And we had a way to kind of work with that. Yeah, so we went, we did a little sort of like, the, here's the forms and the branching outy thingy. And I actually referred to you one time in the video as the Dunham Beast. Yeah. And the other time just as the, the Eric dude. Is he What's beastly? So, is and, he beastly and, like this? Is he, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, and we promised our viewers and our listeners a deep dive. Oh, yeah. So, so take us through what we're about to do. A shallow dive. It's a shallow dive. It's a dive. shallow okay, deep right. dive. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's a, it's a, hold on, move on. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's, oh, they're clapping too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. So tell us what we're about to do. Um, we are going to use Google Sheets to disaggregate a bunch of data. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it means like take all this crap that's all in one place and put it into neat little categories. Ah, uh, okay. So last time, Brandon and Kyle, you guys talked about how to make a Google form. Yeah, yeah right. Big tree, choose your own adventure Google form. That's correct. What happens is that poops all that information in <laughs> one gigantic <laughs> database. Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. Uh, which is great, except unless you want to use it. Then it's in one database with 50 columns. and. Can you show me just an rows. example of what like a nasty database might yeah, look like? Yeah, so I've been collecting data on my students. That sounds wrong. I have been having them fill out exit tickets every day yes. for the whole year. Right. This spreadsheet is actually just uh, this semester. So you look at the timestamps. It started right as the year ended. And if I just scroll, and holy oh crap! If holy I scroll down, data! It's like data, 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 data. Six hundred, oh. eight hundred. I'm somewhere in the fifteen hundred. Okay, so this is this is user entered, so, right? Yes. Okay. This is the right. students entered itself, and I'm up to seventeen. So how far over does it go? Uh, my table is goes over to. K column. Okay. Right? Okay. okay. So, All right. That's so, not bad, but no. that's still a ton. Okay. Of data. So that is that is a buttload yeah, of data. And you see, it goes off the screen, and I haven't word wrapped it because I want to keep it consolidated. So you see, it's not exactly easy to use in this right. form. Like, right. Cool. Right. Cool. I get some information here, but a lot of it is just it's off screen or it's here. And you'll notice in the middle, this is five different classes. Uh -huh. so, students who some of them I teach the same subject, but there's three different subjects here. Right. Okay. They're all in the same form. Yeah. So if I want to get in information here, it's, it's it's in this current form. You see, like that was like the old version was I was color coding by yeah. hand, and back in the day, back in the day, and that was before I knew, and that that was terrible. Like, okay. It just took a lot. of I time mean, it was and a it's it was fine. a low tech fix. It's, it's, it was a fix, but it just it took a lot of time and effort. Like right. I had to manually select. Um, so there is a better way. Cool. Show and we're talk, we're gonna talk about this. Okay. So the goal here is we have the Google Sheet with all this information. The, the thing that's nice about it is it's all there in this yeah. one spot. One but, spot, yeah. But now right. I want to look at just let's look at just block H. My okay. IM three one class. So I have down here made a tab. So each of my classes is a tab. And God, I, I love that button. I have some that's other things. Great button. Yeah, if you, you don't know that, know that button, folks. This is all of, see because my tabs here are kind of going off. Yeah, right. Into oblivion. And so here instead, it's just like here's a list of them. Sweet. All right. So, look, so you have already done this with block H. What would it look like if I just had disaggregated data? So here's block H. So what what happened? We'll talk about how it happened in a second, but let's just look at what this looks like. 
Um, I'm actually gonna, now that I'm in just my student folder, I'm going to wrap the text so I can see things better. Okay. Because it's a little bit more manageable now. Oops, that was, Whoops. That, was that was, just kidding. The key feature, <laughs> Apple Z, if you do anything that's stupid, like just now, yeah, just Apple Z. Don't know what I did, but. It'll save your life. Undid it. Undo. All right, so it's now, see, because here now I have it so that the word wraps, so I can see what every student has written. It makes it a little bit taller. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Whatever. Right. Okay, yeah. so how did you do this? Like, talk us through what is the change, because yeah. you didn't put this in yourself. You didn't go and copy and paste this or anything like that. So you're, you're telling me that if, if students are putting things, they, they submit this form on Google Doc, or they submit this Google form, and it goes in, their, their entry goes into your master document, mm -hmm. and then that automatically goes into its own class period. Yeah. So, ah. so Google Sheets is uh, similar to Microsoft Excel for those of you that came from the Microsoft Office package. It's almost, as far as I can tell, it's the same code. Yeah. Um, but what this is, is it's, it's something between a calculator and a sorting machine, and it actually, you can put in code and it will do a lot of sophisticated things. Okay. Like it's designed to sort data. Right. And so there's a lot of different ways to do that, but we're going to talk today about just the one. The key to this whole business is called the query function. Query. Query right. function. So what it does <laughs> is here's a database, and the function is going to query the database. It's going to ask the database for some information. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's your number? And so here, what we did <laughs> in... Let's just recreate this on a blank sheet. I like it. So I'm going to go over here. What's sheet nine? Blank. It's almost blank. So here's a blank sheet just at the end here. Rename it. We're going to do block H mm -hmm. okay. again. Okay. So we titled it. So we got block H. So now it's on our list. It's the new block H right here. We're going to go to the top. Just A1. It doesn't matter where you go, but A1 is a nice one. In, in sheets, if you just type in information. It types in. It just types in. It's text. But if you start with an equal sign, it's now ready to, to take code. Yes. Like some sort of some sort of function. Right. It can be summing information. It can be f counting information. It can be sorting information. Now, are we on the level of like Angelina Jolie, early 90s hackers code? Or is this going to be pretty manageable? Because I'm not a – let's say I'm not a big techie person. Well, let's be honest. Probably we are on that level because that was 1995. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. They're running on like dial-up 28.8. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. But yes, it, it. we are not on the hacker level code here. This is – So even the lay person could in fact yes, jump and will, in and Yes, I will get show it. you this code. A lot of it makes sense. Okay. Um, but as long as you can type in an equal sign, you might be okay. You're on the you're on the right track. Okay. Sweet. Perfect. And you'll notice right. that the if computer. You use the word code. I get a little breathy. I get a little if nervous. You, if you if you type in a code, this is putting some random code. It really wants to help you out here. We're not going to use this code, but you click on it, and it actually gives you some clues. Yeah. It says this is what I uh, want you. Yeah. So for those of you that are just a little bit tech savvy, you can kind of follow. You. It tells you, oh, I need to type in a range yep. followed by a criterion, and, then and it it's gives actually going to give me an example of right. what that means. Cool, cool, yeah? cool. Okay. So what we're going to do here is the query code. Query. Now all code has to be capital, not like it matters totally. So we're going to do so query. So is it shouting at us? Query. Uh, I I didn't think of it like that, but the code is always in caps. Okay. It's always shouting. And then we're going to type in. A lot of, there's a lot of different things that can go in here. We're going to do like the basic level query, and then we can follow this up in another video yeah. with some of the more sophisticated stuff. Okay, cool. But the basic idea is it needs essentially two things: where are we looking, and yep. what are we what are we looking for? Perfect. Like so it's, it's where are we looking, comma what are we looking for, and that last little thing is kind of vestigial. Um, so where are we looking? We're looking at form responses. Yep. This is my database. So the code here gets just a little bit technical, but again, most of the time you can just copy and paste it. Okay. So in order to save us a little time, let's just copy and paste some code. So we okay. go to our previous one, we see here. So as everyone see up here in this function, like anytime you're in a cell, there's something up here. Wait, hang on, no, no. I, I think for anybody that's watching this, they can't copy and paste it. So will you actually write it out for them ah, on yes. this first try? And then once we've got one of them, then we can copy and paste. So All right. let's write this out for the first so, time. So equals query. And then the first thing is our data table. Well, equals query parentheses. Open, open parentheses. Bracket. Okay. Okay. And I'll go through a page. I'll, I'll, I'll switch over to a Google Doc that shows you this detail. Okay. It's sync. Now, don't get, stick with me here. This is a little bit boring. Okay. We're going to go to single quote yep. table name, which my database is called 
form responses one. Sorry, I gotta and be very careful here because one it has to be exactly right. One yeah. space messes it up. Yeah. Or, okay, so you gotta be yep. really careful. And then you close it with a single bracket, exclamation point. What's the exclamation point for? It tells it. Okay, that's we're form responses. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Sorry. so we should it, lower <laughs> the volume on this. Um, it's telling us that we're done with the title, and now it's time to look at what. Where are we looking? Like oh, okay. We don't necessarily need to look at that whole database. We're looking enthusiastically. <laughs> yes. Although we are going to look at this whole database. So we're going to look A colon K. That tells us... Why did we choose A and K? Can you explain to me where so that comes in from? In my database, based on my Google form, <clears throat> yeah. I happen to have... Stuff columns K um, K columns of stuff. Right. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, right. okay. A B C D E F G so H I J K. Yes, got it, and, got it, got it. And that goes up to double Z, so you could have up to fifty-two columns of stuff. Right. And it might cool. actually go further than that. You could name them, I think. Okay. Yeah. So cool, you cool, can cool. have a very you can have a ton of different questions or information, and okay. that's just telling you to look from here to here so in you, form responses. Yeah, so one. we go back to block H, and it's saying look at form responses one. If you'll notice here, it's already populated. It's pop. It's just it took the it took the entire form. Yeah. and said I just replicated. Oh, you it. want that form? I found it for you. Yes, right. And here it is. Okay. So it's but oh, it's still all the it's old. It's still stuff. everything. It's still everything. It has, okay. We so, haven't sorted anything yet. All uh, we've done is we said look there, and it's like I found this whole thing here. Okay. Look, it's right. great. It's like a dog. It's like, or a, little, cat. It's like a happy dog. I like that. It's right? like a cat bringing you a dead mouse. Be like, yeah. look what I did. It's like it doesn't know what it's why. Right. But it's like okay, here it is. You good? It's like yeah. no, we're not right. good. What's next? We're gonna now. You'll notice it turned orange. Yeah, it, it means it's working. Almost every piece of code has some sort of color associated with it, so uh. you know, like, see, when it's here, it's black. Ain't working. Ain't working. It's like, oh, that's a valid piece of code now. Perfect. Yay. Good okay. So we're gonna comma that, and now see, it gives me. It's hard to see, but you can look. There's a little bit. It tells me, oh, I want something there. Yep. So you're about to. You're about to do something else. Yep. And so what we're gonna do here. <clears throat> Is now we're going to select what do we want it to show us, uh, okay. and this is this is the next key phrase here is the word select. Okay. Do we have to do like quotations or anything around it? Yep. We have to. We're going to have to do quotation, and see it turns green. It's telling us uh, we're on the right track. Okay. Right. All right. Good. So double quote select. Now it's going to ask us how many of the columns do we want. Okay. In this case, I want all of them. Okay. So there's for those of you that are in code, you understand star. So shift eight on my keyboard. Show me everything. Show me everything. Okay. Select every column. But here's the deal. I don't want to see everything. I just want to see my block H students. Okay. So if you go back to our form responses, there's this column that says what class are you in? Yep. And I want to sort just by the block H class. Okay. And it's in the D, D column. column. D column. Okay, got and it. And you'll notice the text is block space H space dash space I space, you know, you have to be very specific here. Yeah. So we should probably copy that. So we're gonna copy that in a second here. So we okay. go back to our table, sorry, go back to our original. It says there's an error because we're not finished yet. Right. Okay, so we wanna select everything and then the, co the code is where. Yep. And then we wanna say, what are we looking at? Well, we're gonna sort uh, based on. The column. Hang on, yeah, column, it, it was column D. Column it was D, D, right? Where D equals and now we're going to say identify a piece of text. And so what we do is do single quotes. Sweet. Inside those single quotes, we're going to type whatever the text is that it's going to look for. That's so that, that was you're going to identify block the thing, block right? H. So text. if I was looking for poop, it would just come nothing because there's no column with the word poop in it. But it's which looking is, for the exact, which is appropriate. That's probably. a shame, good. Really. Yeah. No, so, no. so we're looking for block H I am 3 dash 1 dash 1. Okay. All right, so that's the exact text. And right. If I typed it right, when I hit enter. <gasps> okay, so now let's take a look here. It's the whole Whoa. database, but you'll look at this column now. It's only it's the only block, block H. H. So now I have a still sizable, more manageable 300 data entries. Yeah. That is my block H class every day for a semester. Yeah. Entering wow. information. Okay, okay, cool. Very, and very and presumably then we could we could go further with that if we wanted to. You could generate charts based on that oh m most definitely you now question because that's that's still 300 entries first mm -hmm. of all very very cool when you've got a, ma a massive database yeah could i find a single student um you can Let is me, that another tech talk 
Well, that's also, I think I think that's eventually going to be another tech talk. Okay. But hang on, I, I have a question. I have a question, and that is, okay, you've done this really cool techie thing where you um, so you've gone through this query function. You're select, but why can't I just have a different form for each class? Like, what is the benefit mm. of doing it this way? In your in your opinion. Well, so I started this year with that. I have three IM3 classes, so they actually are literally the same course, and I had a different sheet for each. A, B, and C. Yeah, whatever. But, but I had to, I had to maintain a different Google form for each class. Yep. Um, I had to maintain a, diff- a separate Google sheet for each class. Yep. Uh huh. Um, and it became unsustainable for me. It sounds like maybe it doesn't, but with five different classes having five different Google forms and. Five different spreadsheets and, and just, constantly saying what you which know, class which was class I in, or, yeah, like, right, like, right, like right. which class am I opening yeah. and what is that okay, happening? Right. And it just became so much the work was on me, yeah. And then what I've done is by creating one Google form based on what Brandon is teaching last time, the students it's on them to click, Oh, I'm in IM3, mm-hmm. I'm in this block, here's my information. And with all the information in one spot, it makes the process sustainable. And, it's, and it's I less guess work on the backside. Yes. I would also argue too that by doing it this way, you've at least opened the door. If you wanted to compare class to class yes, to class, it's a helpful. lot easier, right? Incredibly. Uh, all right. Because so, otherwise, that would have been pretty much Im- well. You'd have to yeah. fuse three sheets one together. One more and question. That's ugly. What if I just want to look at unit four stuff? I, like, can so can I like? All right. So you've <clears> nested it. So now you have. Block H, but inside of block H, can I can I filter yeah. it even further? Yeah, I did. So let's go through just I don't want to spend too much time, but but I care about the formatting. So what I did here to make this sort of more user friendly, see see in column C, I mean the names are probably blurred out now, but this is the timestamp, first of all, when they did it. Yep. This is their email address and this is their name. So what I'm gonna do, uh, this is just sort of some hygiene stuff is I have frozen the rows. See, so now when I scroll over, I can see, oh, this kid said oh, vertex right. form. Okay, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah? So that's simply in here, view freeze, and you can freeze rows or columns. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that, actually. No. Yeah. And then what I've done here is I've just kind of, you know, just paint, just add a little color here, yeah. add a little bowl, just to make it look a little yeah, more. Yeah, right, right. Nice. Nice, yeah. So, but now I'm looking at my whole block H, but let's say I want to go back and see what I want block we, H, and, and I want to look at uniform. Let's what say. did unit for? Because that was the first unit this uh, semester, so it was a sure. little while ago. So I want to isolate it, right? I see the unit fours here, but then there's a bunch of unit five yep. and some other and some unit six. So I'm going to go back to my code. Do I need to make is, a new tab or? You could, but you don't need to. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose not to. What we're going to do here, we go back to our A1. You see, you click on it. It says timestamp, but A1 is there's where a, the query there's code a, is. Yeah, right. There's code there. So we're in here. So we, we go select everything where D equals block H, I am three. Right. We're going to add in here, we're gonna put a space. We're still within the double quotes. Yeah. Hand gesture. <laughs> He's making a hand gesture yeah. now. Yeah, it's um, like double quotes. We're gonna add another feature. So we're gonna say we want us, we want block D. Do, Plus, a, and. 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 Yeah, it, so it the word, we literally type the word and. And it's not shouting at Wait, us. hang on, wait, hang on, hang on. I want to I I <laughs> guess at this. So if we did where D equals this thing, we have to know where the units are falling, right? Mm-hmm. They're in E so, block. Or no, e they're E column. E column, column okay. sorry. So is that going to be E equals unit four? E equals what? Single quotes. Single quote. Yeah. Single quotes. That's, That's double, 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 double quote. quote. Single quotes inside the single quotes. Unit four. Unit four. Hey, this makes sense. Unit four. Yeah, that seems pretty intuitive. Enter. Does it work? Well, no change here, but if we go down. Oh, we're nice. Down. Oh, we're down to the Uba a, 126 entries of unit four in it. <gasps> okay, awesome. Now, love it. I and, said, and, hey, wait, what, real okay, quick, you go. Can, can you turn that code back into unit five, real quick? Just real quick. Yeah. Just real I quick. just want to look at unit five. I just want to see. I just want to see. Just, just do it. Did it do it? Oh, 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 oh baby, oh baby! So that's pretty. That's pretty sexy. That's yeah. schmexy. Schmexy. That's schmexy. Schmexy. Okay. okay, I have one more request. I don't really want to see. I like. Let's say that I had um, thirty columns worth of data, mm-hmm. right? And I just want to look at how effectively you work today and how well you understand the material. And um, I want, and that's it. I don't want to see anything else. I want to maybe get rid of the email address. I maybe want to. I want to see their name. Obviously, I want the timestamp. 
but I don't care about the block because I'm obviously already. I, like, yeah. Is there a way to just look at certain yeah. columns? So, so now we're here. We're looking at unit five, and we know we're looking at block H unit five, mm -hmm. right? Maybe our tab here. Let's just call this for whatever reason. We know it's block H unit five. Mm -hmm. We want to look at just that, which means those are redundant on the page. Yeah, right, right. Cluttering right. things up. Yep. So what we're going to go through here? We're just going to pick the columns we like. We want A. We're gonna like bail on the email. Yep. Okay, so we, I like A. We want C. Okay, I like A C. Yeah. D and E, we already are redundant. Know. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of them. <clears throat> what lesson did you work on that matters? Because there's six or eight lessons okay. in this unit. F. How effectively did you work? We want it. How well do you understand we want it? And then I let's say we get the la the the last comment. So let's say we want it for some reason we wanted to get rid of I and J, but we just want K. We, want this last, we have three different questions here. All right, yeah. We let's say K. yeah, for some reason we just want to look at K. Okay, okay so, so we want A. B, no, no, A, C, A, C, F, F, G, H, and K. And K, okay. So go back to our query code, and in select, star tells us to collect everything, every column oh, in the database. okay. We don't want to select everything. We just got to list them. What do we want? We wanted cap, so all caps, A, Shouting again. comma, C, 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 comma, D, D E. So it was, no, it was uh, we wanted F, 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 G, G. H, H and K. And K. So that should get rid of everything else. Oh, oh man. So now I just got timestamp, name, what lesson did you work on? Oh. How hard did you work? How well did you understand it? And did you have anything? Dude. Other? And so if I set this up, my all I my think there should be a number higher than ten to show our productivity, man. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, and so I go back to form responses. So all my data is there. I set up these individual tabs that we just created. And all this stuff just now happens yeah. automatically. And in fact, I usually keep this all the way at the far right and never touch it. Oh, because right. once you set right, them right, up, right. you, you the, don't even the, know to go look at it. Your database is just over there. That's a hygiene somewhere. thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So right. you have all your other stuff here, my different blocks. Woo! So, okay, we just went through a lot. Is there a way to kind of like summarize what you just did? Yes. Um, Leading question. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the code. So this is a good little screenshot to show you a, the code, yep. and then sort of zooms in on three parts of the code and just lists kind of what it looks like. Oh. So you can screenshot this if you're, if you're interested in playing around with it. You have the query code with three parts. Part one, what database are we looking at? Yep. Part two, what parts of that database are we asking for? Yep. And then part three is unimportant. Okay. It's number one or you don't even need to list it there. Okay, it just, right. it's a, it's a, it's a sort of a, a formatting thing about how it displays the headers, but it's... Wait, so we don't even need part three? Yeah. So, okay, can you just delete that then for anybody? So we literally just need one and two and then done. Yep. Man. Cool. This is powerful. Yeah. So let me show you one thing. We don't have time to go into it now. But, but next time. But, but let me show you the thing that really changed it for me. Got your goose? Is that what it did? I don't know. I mean, I... Did it get it? Did I, it ring your bell? I, did it slap your belly? You think you guys spent too much time with your hackneyed metaphors. With ourselves. Yeah, you guys need to get out of it. All right, show us what you got. Okay, so one thing that I thought would be useful here is now that I have all this information, students are self-assessing. They're telling me how hard they worked, and that's usually... I think they're a little optimistic, to be honest, but... Whatever. They're telling me, and they're asking a few questions. What today, I was, today I was confused. You see that, right? Yeah. Today I finally understood something. I need to be less distracted. Okay. okay. That's some honesty. That's honest. So, this would help with comments, maybe, if you're a teacher looking for narrative for comments. Sure. This might help if you have parent-teacher conferences. Yes. It would give you some information. The problem is... There's too much information. Whatever. Steve here is buried as, like, 30 entries in my, like, 2,000 entries. Yeah, right. And even when I go to my block B or whatever, it's still too much. It's still too much. And yeah. if we make an individual tab for each student, because he could do that, he could that would get that. ridiculous, Jeez. right? Just imagine like I would have at least eighty tabs in yeah, this. No, list. That, yeah, that no, that seems a little unreasonable. No, thank you. Okay. So we don't want to put it like up here. D equals B block I am three right. and E, or I guess that would be C equals yeah. individual. Is there a solution? A. Yeah, there is. Got there is a solution. So it's it's a little too complex to go into this this. Session. Show us. Show us. But here's a student search page. What I've done is I've set up a student email drop down list. You oh. don't even have to type it in. It's just 
it automatically went through my database and said, oh, here's all of your students' emails. Oh, that's cool. Uh -huh. Okay. It, it put it there automatically. <laughs> right. And I, I have instructed it, I've instructed it to say, oh, here's that kid. Bam. Boom. And you can't see these are, these are blocked out, but the email I selected here is this kid right here. Yeah. And this is that student's information for the whole year. You'll see that student oh, happens man. to be a block H kid. He's in unit four, now he's in unit five, now he's in unit Woo! six. That's this kid, cool, man. This is a stronger student. He's putting how he's putting nines. He's not, he's a liar. He's <laughs> whatever. <laughs> this he's, dude is a total liar. <laughs> he's a good student, but he's not working nine hard every day. Oh, that's okay, for right. Sure. <laughs> um, but this is another video. Do I have an honest student who's an honest student? Whatever. There's another video. So I click, I click on a different student, and here it is. And this is just now I can quickly look through their comments. I can quickly look through. The, the, their self oh, their self reflection. Okay. Okay. So I mean, let's say that there were teachers that weren't doing this student self assessment thing every day. This is just if you're any kind of data management. This is one another further way to sort your data to get summaries based off of some kind of yes. input. This is amazing. This and, is and, cool. and it goes this is it amazing. goes deeper. Pivot tables, and you can calculate rolling averages, and you can calculate automatically update this into tables. Woo! So this is going to be a little bit of a running series, probably two or three or four additions to this. Yeah. To if kind you're, of go are a you willing to come back? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like we're going on a deep dive journey, baby. Uh, yes. Deep dive journey. I love it. Okay. Well, hey, Eric. Thanks. Yeah. You're Man, welcome. this is this is an amazing tool. All right, so uh, this has been Eric. Again, thank you very much. And Kyle. And Brandon. And um, <laughs> Belly. <laughs> <laughs> we out.